Hey there, Cowboys Nation. Welcome back to Cowboys News TV, your go-to source for all things Dallas Cowboys. We've got a thrilling episode lined up for you today, diving into the hottest topics and answering your burning questions about our favorite team. But before we jump in, a massive shout out to CJD Young3 for starting today's show with a super thanks. Your support truly keeps us going, CJ. In today's episode, we'll explore Trey Lance's potential role this season and how our offensive coordinator, Brian Schottenheimer, plans to maximize his talent. With only eight career games under his belt, can Trey rise to the occasion and secure a future spot on the roster? We'll also dive into the intriguing battle between Tyler Smith and Tyron Smith on the offensive line. Can Tyler step up to fill those big shoes, or will Tyron continue to hold the edge? And that's not all, we'll discuss Ezekiel Elliott's performance with new additions and whether Alvin Kamara could be a fit for the Cowboys. Plus, we'll touch on Jerry Jones' future plans for the team and speculate on potential unexpected roster changes. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Your subscription is crucial to us, it helps our channel grow and brings us closer to our goal of 10,000 subscribers. Every click counts, so thank you for being part of our journey. Now, without further ado, let's dive into today's Cowboys News TV mailbag episode and tackle all the burning questions you've sent our way. Howdy, Cowboys Nation. Welcome back to Cowboys News TV, where we bring you the latest and greatest from America's team. We've got an action-packed mailbag episode for you today, featuring your questions and some hot takes on everything Dallas Cowboys. But before we dive in, a huge shout out to CJD, Young3 for kickstarting today's show with a super thanks. Your support means the world to us, CJ. And remember, if you want to see your message featured in our next video, send in a super thanks or a super chat. Now, let's get into it. Mailbag segment, Trey Lance and the quarterback situation. Our first question comes from Mark, who asks about Trey Lance's role this season. The Cowboys acquired Lance from the 49ers last offseason, but he didn't see any action as he was the third quarterback behind Dak Prescott and Cooper Rush. Offensive coordinator Brian Schottenheimer has big plans for him this year. Schottenheimer said, The guy's obviously an unbelievable athlete, but we need to get him the reps. How do you learn to play the position of quarterback unless you're playing, right? Lance has only played in eight career games and thrown 102 pass attempts since being drafted in 2021. He needs more reps to develop, and Schottenheimer plans to get him plenty of action during OTAs, mini camps, and training camps. This summer is a golden opportunity for Lance to showcase his talents and prove he deserves a spot on the roster for 2025 and beyond. Tyler Smith vs. Tyron Smith Next up, Mark shares his concerns about Tyler Smith not being a better player than Tyron Smith. Tyler had a solid rookie season, but he's got big shoes to fill. As for rookie center Cooper BB, he will need time to acclimate. Centers often struggle with the mental side of the game, but our quarterback Dak Prescott handles a lot of the pre-snap responsibilities, which should ease BB's transition. Terrence Steele, another key player on the offensive line, should be better this season as he's another year removed from his injury. The offensive line's performance in the early season may have its ups and downs, but it's more important how they gel by the end of the year. Ezekiel Elliott's performance with new additions. Daniel asks if Ezekiel Elliott will average more than four yards per carry with the addition of Gon and BB. If Zeke can hit that mark, it would be a significant improvement from last year. However, if the offensive scheme remains too predictable, his average might not improve much. Success rate and converting short yardage situations will be crucial metrics to watch for Zeke this season. Interest in Alvin Kamara Stan inquires about the possibility of acquiring Alvin Kamara after June 1st. Kamara is owed a lot of money and his performance has declined over the past couple of years. While he was once a PPR fantasy football machine, his recent efficiency has not been impressive. Trading for Kamara doesn't seem like a wise move given his current contract and declining production. Would you trade for Alvin Kamara? 
Let us know by voting in the pinned comment below. T for trade, P for pass. Jerry Jones and future plans. Mark has a rather colorful take on Jerry Jones' future plans for the Cowboys. The truth is, the Cowboys crave flexibility. Stephen Jones has stated they must plan as if they might not extend Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb, or Micah Parsons. This approach limits their short-term ability to make significant moves and often leaves them stuck in the middle, aiming for 9-10 to 10 win seasons and hoping for the best. Unexpected Roster Changes Leroy Pearson Jr. asks how many unexpected players might make the team this year. With some shaky depth in certain spots, there's potential for surprises. Beyond the draft picks, there could be practice squad players or new acquisitions stepping up. We'll predict over under five and a half unexpected players making the final roster. Stay tuned for our roster projection coming soon. Your turn, Cowboys Nation. What do y'all think about Trey Lance's potential and the Cowboys' strategy for getting him more reps? Can he develop into a reliable quarterback for Dallas? And what are your thoughts on the possible departure of Demarcus Lawrence? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's keep this conversation going. If you're loving this deep dive into Cowboys territory, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Your support helps us bring you the latest and greatest from Cowboys Nation and gets us closer to our goal of 10,000 subscribers. Every click counts, so thank you for being part of our journey. Back to Cowboys News TV, where we break down all the latest news, rumors, and insights about America's team. We've got a jam-packed episode for you today, featuring some of your questions and our takes on the hottest Cowboys topics. But before we dive in, a special shout out to CJD, Young3 for kickstarting today's show with a super thanks. Your support keeps us going, CJ. And remember, if you want to see your message featured in our next video, send in a super thanks or a super chat. Now, let's get into it. Mailbag segment, schedule leaks and record predictions. First off, we'll see if we get the schedule leak this year. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't but we'll break it down for you here on the channel along with a record prediction. Our viewer LGLDT mentions that running back, wide receiver, and linebacker are the Cowboys' biggest weaknesses. If we sign Gilmore, our cornerback room would be solid. I agree, the cornerback situation is pretty solid already, but bringing back someone like Stefan Gilmore would definitely bolster our defense. Hunter Renfro on the cheap? Daniel M. suggests signing Hunter Renfro on the cheap. Renfro's been underwhelming the past two years, and while it's surprising he's still unsigned, it seems his 2021 season was an outlier. If the Cowboys decide to play C.D. Lamb in the slot and involve Cavanti Turpin, that limits the opportunities for Renfro. So, signing him might not be a game-changer, but it wouldn't hurt to add a veteran presence if the price is right. Is a rebuild coming? Well, Marshall thinks the lack of all-in moves might be setting up for a rebuild. If the Cowboys are planning a rebuild, why wait? If you're going to rebuild, just do it. Playing veteran players like Brandon Cooks, Tank Lawrence, Dak Prescott, and Zach Martin doesn't make sense if you're gearing up for a rebuild. If it's about winning now, the strategy seems off. The Cowboys need to commit to a direction and go all-in on that path. Next head coach of the Cowboys? Tony wants to know who the next head coach will be. Primetime Deion Sanders might be a popular name, but his social media antics don't scream leadership. A former player like Jason Witten might have a better chance, but that too has its risks. The big question for any potential head coach is the quarterback situation. Coaches want job security and a clear plan for the future, which is currently a question mark for the Cowboys. Running back needs speed. One of our viewers mentioned the need for speed at running back. The Cowboys do need more speed to break off those long runs. While Zeke has been dependable, his efficiency has been declining, and it's unlikely he'll suddenly become more productive. If he does hit 1,000 yards, it would likely require a heavy workload, which isn't ideal given his current form. What's missing to reach the NFC Championship game? Steph GX asks what's the missing piece for the Cowboys to reach the NFC Championship game. 
It's not just one piece, it's multiple. Last year, the offense had top 10 play from the quarterback and dynamic performance from the wide receivers, but the head coach was not top 10 caliber. Coaching is a significant factor, especially in crucial playoff games. The Cowboys need a top-tier head coach to push them over the edge. Who is the QB in 2024-2025? Jordan asks who the Cowboys quarterback will be in 2024-2025. It's hard to say right now. If Dak Prescott isn't signed by September 1st, it's unlikely he'll remain with the Cowboys. If Trey Lance plays well in the preseason, he might get a shot, but if he doesn't, the Cowboys could be in a tough spot, especially if they finish the season with a mid-tier draft pick. Do you believe in Trey Lance? Sound off in the comments with a Y for yes or N for no. Dak Prescott's future. Tyler asks if the Cowboys should extend Dak if they lose in the wild card or divisional round again. If Dak replicates his previous season, he'll have plenty of teams lining up to pay him top dollar. The Cowboys need to decide now. If they aren't going to extend him, they should start planning for a rebuild immediately. If they're going to keep him, they should lock him in before his market value skyrockets. That's a wrap for today's episode, folks. Thanks for joining us on Cowboys News TV. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and send in your super thanks for a chance to be featured in our next mailbag. Keep those questions coming, and we'll catch y'all next time. Go Cowboys!